Hi everyone, my name is Michael Fatsius and I'm an associate professor at Tokyo College at the University of Tokyo. And this summer I'm going to offer a seminar on modern Japanese history at GUC. My own background is in Japanese history, in East Asian history and in global history. And I've been teaching both in Germany and London before coming here to the University of Tokyo. So there's this class on modern Japanese history and I want to explain to you why it might be interesting for you to join. So we have three keywords. One is modern, one is Japanese and one is history. And I think if you're interested in either one of those keywords it might be a class that you might want to take. So first of all, Japan. If you're interested in Japan, history is obviously very important to know because it gives you a richer understanding of Japanese culture and even of contemporary Japanese society. In part that's because of the pop culture and all of the different ways in which history is being taken up in different formats from movies um, to, to video games. But the other part is also in understanding some of the political issues that are happening in East Asia at the moment. Um, from issues about borders uh, to things like um, memories of World War II, which are very different uh, in Japan, Korea and China, and because of which there are often different problems that arise on the political level. So like for all of these different reasons, like if you're interested in Japan, taking a class on modern Japanese history will deepen your understanding. The second keyword is history, and that's kind of obvious, so if you're interested in history, this will be a fun class for you either way, because it will just offer you a lot of um, interesting stories about what happened in Japan in the last 150 years. And it has been a time of so many different uh, monumental events and um, yeah, periods and developments, uh, starting from the Meiji Restoration, um, to things like World War II and Japanese, the Japanese Empire and the period of Japanese colonization, uh, to post-war reconstruction, the beginning of modern Japanese pop, pop culture, uh, and uh, things like the Showa bubble and the end of an era and the big shifts in Japanese society that happened since the 1990s. So we were gonna, we are going to dive into all of these different aspects. And the third one is modernity. So modern means the modern world, right? So this course is not just about Japan, but in many senses, Japan can be a case study to understand all of the big phenomena and trends that have shaped what the modern world is, starting from globalization to industrialization, uh, to things like empire and colonization, um, to cultural exchange that happened on a global level. All of these different aspects made the modern world what it is today and Japan had, its, had both its unique experience of these phenomena and it also in part shaped these phenomena. So yeah, if you're either interested in either of these, uh, please consider joining this class. Let me briefly also tell you about um, what we're going to do in the class. We're going to have one initial session where we're thinking a bit about the canon, so the most important names and dates and events that you need to know um, that will just pop up in any conversation about Japanese history. But then in the main parts we will have different keywords that will cover a lot of different aspects from, from a wide um, array of angles. Um, things like water, but also protest, animals, uh, empire and war obviously, but also uh, consumption. So like all of these different keywords will give us an interesting window to study the same broad period of modern Japanese history. And we're not just going to have a lecture format where I'm going to give you the newest research about Japanese history, but also um, we'll practice history together a bit. And practicing history means in this case looking at sources together and trying to understand and interpret them. Uh, but also what's very important for historians understanding different viewpoints. All historical actors have different ways of seeing the world that shape um, how they act. Um, and we're going to try to understand um, what, a, what, a, what a Japanese politician in the 19th century might have thought about globalization, for example. So, um, yeah, I hope um, you will join me in summer of 2024 here in Tokyo.